Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. First of all, to those who criticize me, I want to say this clearly, your criticism does affect me, but my goal is to raise the voice of my country and bring the truth to the world. I try to present facts honestly and in detail. To my friends in the Philippines, your encouragement means a lot, and if you enjoy this content, please show your support by subscribing. 2026 KDX-3 Batch 2 Aegis Destroyer, South Korea The 2026 KDX-3 Batch 2 Aegis Destroyer is one of South Korea's most advanced warships, designed for modern naval warfare. This destroyer combines stealth technology, advanced radar systems, and missile defense capabilities, making it highly effective in high-threat environments. Its displacement is approximately 8,500 tons, with a length of about 166 meters. The most important feature of this destroyer is its Aegis combat system, which allows it to track multiple targets simultaneously and provides ballistic missile defense. Its ANSPY-1D radar can detect high-speed aerial and surface threats. The ship is equipped with vertical launch systems VLS, capable of firing SM-2, SM-6, and Tomahawk cruise missiles. In addition, it possesses strong anti-submarine warfare capabilities, including sonar systems and torpedoes. The crew size is around 300 to 340 personnel, and the ship can reach speeds of up to 30 knots, providing both high maneuverability and rapid response. Its aviation facilities support helicopters such as the Super Lynx or MH-60R, which are essential for anti-submarine and reconnaissance missions. Overall, this destroyer is a multi-role platform, capable of air defense, surface warfare, anti-submarine operations, and strategic deterrence, making it one of the most capable ships in the region. BRP Antonio Luna FF-151, Philippines the BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 is a modern frigate of the Philippine Navy, designed for patrol, coastal defense, and limited anti-submarine warfare operations. Its displacement is around 2,600 tons, and it measures about 107 meters in length. While it brings modern capabilities to the Philippines fleet, its scale and technology are somewhat different compared to South Korea's KDX-3. This ship features modern radar and communication systems, but it is less sophisticated than the KDX the Third's Aegis system. Armament includes harpoon anti ship missiles, an Odo Malara 76mm main gun, and a rolling airframe missile RAM system, providing medium range defensive and offensive capabilities. For anti submarine operations, it has a sonar system and a helicopter deck, although its targeting range and precision are more limited than those of the South Korean destroyer. The crew strength is approximately 120 to 130 personnel, and the ship can reach speeds of up to 25 knots. Its aviation capability is limited, usually accommodating light helicopters or drones for surveillance and support. Despite these limitations, BRP Antonio Luna plays a key role in maritime security and patrol missions for the Philippines, particularly in protecting its territorial waters and responding to regional threats. Comparison of 2026 KDX-3 Batch 2 Aegis Destroyer, South Korea and BRP Antonio Luna FF-151, Philippines. When comparing the 2026 KDX-3 Batch 2 Aegis Destroyer with BRP Antonio Luna FF-151, several differences become clear. The KDX-3 is significantly larger, faster, and more heavily armed, making it better suited for high-intensity conflicts and complex multi-domain operations. Its Aegis combat system allows it to engage multiple targets at long range, including ballistic missiles, which gives South Korea a substantial defensive edge. The BRP Antonio Luna, on the other hand, is more focused on coastal patrol, territorial defense, and limited blue water. Operations While it carries capable weapons for medium-range engagement, it does not have the same advanced missile defense or multi-target tracking systems as the KDX-3. Its smaller size and crew make it more maneuverable in shallow waters, but it is less suited for prolonged combat in high-threat scenarios. In terms of anti-submarine warfare, the KDX-3 has more extensive sonar and torpedo systems, along with dedicated helicopters for detection and engagement, while BRP Antonio Luna relies on a smaller helicopter deck and lighter ASW capabilities. Speed and endurance also favor the KDX-3 which can operate far from home ports and sustain high-tempo operations for longer periods. Both ships reflect the strategic priorities of their respective nations. 
South Korea emphasizes technological superiority, multi-role flexibility, and regional deterrence, while the Philippines focuses on maintaining sovereignty, protecting coastal waters, and gradually modernizing its fleet. Despite its smaller size and lighter armament, BRP Antonio Luna represents a significant upgrade for the Philippine Navy, showing progress in defense capabilities and regional presence. Conclusion In conclusion, the 2026 KDX-3 Batch II Aegis destroyer demonstrates South Korea's commitment to cutting-edge naval technology and multi-role capability, making it a formidable presence in East Asia. BRP Antonio Luna FF-151 reflects the Philippines' efforts to strengthen its maritime security with modern yet practical solutions suitable for its territorial defense needs. Both ships are important in their own context, with different strengths aligned to their national defense strategies. To my viewers in the Philippines, I want to emphasize that your encouragement matters a lot. Supporting each other and appreciating naval advancements globally helps us understand our own capabilities better. If you enjoyed this detailed comparison, don't forget to hit subscribe and stay updated with more naval insights.